Welcome to my unboxing of the, the Magistouch Ninja 10 keyless keyboard from Philco. So Philco is, well, no mystery to keyboard aficionados. And this one is absolutely beautiful. I actually didn't check the outside of the box before we opened this. And I didn't realize that this was... I, I actually... You know what? Slick and I were discussing this before we... Uh, before we started doing the keyboard unboxings for all of the, un the all of the keyboards that have arrived, and I was saying that I didn't think I was going to be a fan of the side labeled keys, but I am. I really like it. So it looks just beautiful and elegant and plain from the top down, and then from a slight angle, you can see all of the keys just like that. I really like this. Okay, so Philco, right? No, no stranger to connoisseurs of quality keyboards. Um, extremely well built. Some of the best out there. So there is no flex to the deck. Nothing whatsoever. The weight that they had, even a 10 keyless model like that, which means there's no number pad, you could probably still stun, you know, a, a home invader with it. No problem with that. They also have a ton of different customization options. So you can customize so many different things. You can customize the color of your deck. You can customize the types of keys that you have on it. So you can either have writing on the top, writing on the sides. You can have a full, you can, oh right, you can customize the layout. So you can have a full size or a 10 keyless, which some people prefer because they want to have their keyboard laid out like this. Don't worry, we have one, it's here. Uh, they want to have their keyboard like this then their mouse and their mouse pad, and then the number pad over here, as opposed to having it on this side. This is actually, in sort of purest terms, slightly more efficient, because if you want to get to your keyboard, you go here, and if you want to get to your number pad, you go here, as opposed to going over the number pad to get all the way to the keyboard. So there you go. Um, Layout-wise, perfect. Long shift, long enter, and long backspace. It has no number lock light, so only scroll lock and caps lock, but that stands to reason because it doesn't have number keys on it. And let's have a look at what switches this is using. So Philco actually sent us a variety of their keyboards to check out. And the, right, so what makes this keyboard a quality keyboard? The biggest thing is A, the overall construction of it. And hold on. There we go. And B, the quality of the switches that they're using. So they're using Cherry MX switches for all of their keyboards. And that combined with the rigidity of the deck behind it is what gives you the more comfortable, less fatiguing, and faster typing experience than what you'd get from a membrane keyboard. And basically, unless a keyboard says it's mechanical, then it is a membrane keyboard. All right, so here, let's cover everything. So this is a body color black. Key arrangement 87, key switches are blue. Which means that they are quite clicky and very tactile feeling. And we were actually looking at the box, weren't we? Um, the keyboard features N key rollover, which means even if you type with your face, it will actually register all of your keystrokes, which is handy. Um, if you type with your face. It uses a USB or PS2 interface. It comes with an adapter. The printing position is front face. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of the difference in how the keys are printed. So this actually avoids a problem that a lot of people have with keyboards, and that is fading over time of the lettering. These will never ever fade. So you can clearly read them and they won't fade. And that seems like a pretty good thing to me. Uh, right, in terms of the non-slippiness, so they've got four pads down here as well, as these are fairly unique. So they've got a rubber pad that actually rolls all the way around the outside of this, so that even if you have it elevated, it is not going anywhere whatsoever. In terms of included accessories, they give you... Let's put that back on. Uh, they give you two additional Windows keys, these ones with the side printing, as opposed to the ones with the uh, embossed Windows logo on the top. They give you the key remover tool and the adapter that I talked about before. It also has a Velcro wrap for the cable itself, which is approximately one Linus arm span in length, which means it's about five and a half feet or so. So in summary, quality key switches, so far, out of all of the keyboards I've used in my life, this is the best, most solid overall feeling one, other than I did have an IBM Model M and uh, nothing can compare, but I actually gave it away, so I probably shouldn't have done that. It's Slick's looking at me like stricken right now. 
I really had one. It was like an early 90s one and it was PS2 and it was just awesome in every possible way. Anyway, uh, so other than that one, this is as solid as I've felt and this is with the three Philcos that I've uh, checked out so far. And uh, I really don't know where I was going with that because now I'm really sad about my Model M. But if you want a good typing experience, Cherry Blue Switches are an excellent choice. Personally, I find them just fine for gaming as well. Although not everyone likes for gaming. Here, get, get close so you can hear it. You hear that actuation point? Not everyone likes that sort of... Um, very narrow actuation point there, whereas some of the other switches, such as the reds or the uh, blacks, will have a more smooth uh, key press experience. I love the noise though, and I love the feeling and the, the, the audio feedback of knowing that I've pressed it correctly. So I yeah, find it just fine for typing, just fine for gaming. I type fastest on blues as well, so does uh, Slick. So you have to kind of try things yourself because these are so customizable. Get whatever switches you want, whatever keycaps you want, whatever layout you want, and you end up with the best typing experience. Yeah, you pay for it, but personally, I think it's worth it. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.